Ah, uh, the Harbor Freight carport. Look at that. A big old sail in the wind. Alright, so I woke up this morning. I've had two of these before to let you know to start with. Um, one, though, I had built right next to an existing garage. And uh, it was actually on a concrete slab, so I was able to uh, use uh, tap cons straight into the pad on all of the points of contact for the tent. It lasted forever through the worst storms. Was fine. This is obviously in more of an open area. Uh, this is my second season, so I had it at the beginning of fall, and now it's winter. And the thing is already getting torn up. Uh, it comes with some ground ties that you screw into the ground and then and then you tie a steel tie from that to the lower legs, but only on four points of contact. And uh, the way it comes out of the kit, there's no way to even uh, keep everything secure. I always recommend, and other reviewers have recommended, that you have to come in and add... Uh, extra self-tapping screws to all the points of connection for all the tubing otherwise it comes apart anyways it's been extremely windy today I came out this morning this thing was picked up like a sail this boat was on a concrete block on the front tongue slapped it off that there was a water heater and a furnace inside of here that uh, it knocked over onto a lawnmower and uh, snapped a couple bolts in it it wasn't good so, let me show you. Oh yeah, here we go. So I actually laid these down after I picked them back up again because, oh man, look at that. They had fallen over onto the lawn mowers, which I was not very happy about. I had to scramble and figure out something to do before this thing just flew away. So, down in these little feet, I had put uh, tent stakes. That did nothing. They just came right back up again. Uh, these are the extra screws I'm talking about, which it was so powerful, snapped a couple of those. We're not talking about a hurricane here either. I mean, I'm just in Indiana. Just some stray wind coming through with a cold and a warm front mixing because it's wintertime weather blah blah uh jesus anywho i had to scramble figure something out what i did was i took concrete blocks that i had from when i redid my foundation on this rehab house and uh i set some over the tent stakes on the legs so that the leg uh the stakes wouldn't would stop pulling up out of the ground and then I tied some around blocks and stacked them because even just one block, it was pulling the block. Um, so that seems to be kind of holding it for now. But some of these bolts snapped here, like for this joiner. That bolt right there snapped, so that's not really together anymore other than just sticking in there. It's really kind of a disaster. I'm hoping that... Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll last through the night. Really not sure. Uh, I guess... As a reviewer, what I would say is it depends on what you're using it for. Because, like I said, I had one... Good Lord. I had one that was... Uh, perfect for a real long time um, but it was also wind protected so I'll tell you what I was pissed waking up this morning and finding this big mess that I had to deal with however I would have been really pissed if I had a car parked in here think about if you woke up with your car parked in here after a big storm and it had come up off of the ground however you rigged it and just slapped the side of your car all night long while you were sleeping, leaving dents and scratches and everything. Insurance isn't going to like that. You're not going to like that. I really wouldn't recommend parking a car in these things, even if it was wind protected. Uh, as far as using it for storage, like I do, yeah, okay. 
That's great, but I think it also depends on your application. I took a chance because uh, I had good luck with it before, um, and it looks like it just it's not good for open areas with wind. Uh, unless you can figure out some way to attach it down better than the way it comes out of the box. Uh, or, like I said, the other one I think that helped a lot, it was on a concrete slab and I actually had tap conned all of the points of ground connection with uh, tap con bolts and that seemed to work well but out of the box no and I'll give you another tip too if you already bought one or if you're gonna buy one the ground ties that you screw into the ground make sure they go right next to it like right next to the end okay you can't have it off to the side at all because any play is gonna make it move around so uh, if you've made it this far in the video, I guess I'd say um, setting it up if you're still wanting one for whatever reason. The first one I did, I did it by myself. Uh, it sucked. I did have to use a little ladder. Actually, both times I had to use a ladder, like an eight foot. Um, second time, I had somebody help me. It was a lot easier because as you're setting the poles up, they move around a lot. You put one pole in, another one comes out. It's just much easier with two people. You can do it with one, but it, it's much easier with two. So if you have any questions, I've had two of these things. I think they're, they are what they are, man. Um, I hate to say it, but you get what you pay for. Uh, uh, thanks for watching Outdoor Tradesman. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks. Bye.